Hi guys, welcome! We are continuing on with the third job class demo and this time we'll be looking into all the Royal Guard skills. If you haven't seen my Warlock skills demo, I'll have the video linked down below. In this video, we'll explore all the Royal Guard skills and demonstrate each one in action. The Royal Guards are an elite order of Paladins and Crusaders with a myriad of supported, offensive, and passive skills. We'll take a look at the new offensive skills such as Earth Drive and Overbrand, buff and supportive skills such as Command of Charge and Battle Chant, and a variety of passive skills such as Shield of Defense and Discipline of Justice. Finally, we'll also take a sneak peek at the various color options available for the Royal Guard. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with the offensive skill, Earth Drive. This is an area of effect active skill in which the Royal Guard slams the shield causing Earth Element physical damage to units within the target area. In addition to dealing damage, this will also reduce the enemy's movement speed and attack speed for 3 seconds. At skill level 10, there will be a 60% movement speed reduction and 30% attack speed reduction. Note that the damage of Earth Drive is dependent on vitality and physical defense. The higher the vit and death, the higher the damage. Next, we have Overbrand. This is another area of effect active skill in which the Royal Guard draws a red cross to the front which will deal both physical and magical damage to all enemies within the target area. This also has a chance to inflict the bleeding state. Note, however, that you must be equipped with a spear to utilize the skill. At skill level 10, the percent magical and physical damage is at 1320% and the chance to inflict the bleeding state is at 40%. Up next, we have a number of buff and supportive skills starting with Command of Charge. This is an active supportive skill in which the Royal Guard and allies around would have immunity to knockback, rooting and slowing effects, and increased movement speed for 10 seconds. At skill level 5, the movement speed buff is an additional 30%. As we can see here, using Command of Charge frees us from the slowing effect of Hell Plants. This is an upgraded version of Endure in which Command of Charge has additional immunity effects and party-wide benefits. Up next, we have Piety. This is an active skill in which the Royal Guard and a target ally will have Holy Property Armor for 60 seconds at skill level 3. Note that this would have a Holy Water cost. This would be good in reducing the damage of Holy Property attacks such as Jude and Adoramas. Let's try it out. Here's Kelsey's Jude damage before and after the Piety buff. We can see that Piety significantly reduced the holy damage. Next, Battle Chant is an active skill that grants all party members immunity to dark and sleep state. In addition, it will also restore HP every 2 seconds for a total duration of 20 seconds at skill level 10. As an example, here's Kelsey attempting to cast the sleep effect using the Dragonfly Scroll. Here we can demonstrate that the Battle Chant grants immunity to the sleep state. This also emphasizes that Battle Chant also has a regen effect every 2 seconds. Next we have Inspiration. This is an active buff in which the Royal Guard will obtain additional points on all attributes and an increase in hit, physical attack, and magic attack. At skill level 10, the additional stats are plus 10 on all attributes and an increase of 100 points each on hit, physical attack, and magical attack for 150 seconds. This can be a good farming buff to increase damage and efficiency when killing mobs. Lastly, for the active skills, we have Fearless. This is an active buff in which the Royal Guard and all party members will obtain plus 25 points on critical defense and plus 50% critical damage reduction for 30 seconds at skill level 5. Alright, now let's move on to the Royal Guard's passive skills. First up, we have Shield of Defense. This increases the damage of all shield spells and increases physical and magic defense. At skill level 10, we'd have 10% additional damage, plus 200 physical defense, and plus 100 magical defense. Let's try it out. This is our damage before activating shield of defense, and here's our damage after allotting 5 skill points on shield of defense. We had a noticeable increase in damage even with just only 5 skill points. Up next, we have Discipline of Justice. This is a passive skill which will increase the Royal Guard's Curse Resistance, Poisoning Resistance, and Fear Resistance by 30% at skill level 3. The resistance would include reducing the hit rate and duration. Next, Spear Thrust is a passive skill which will ignore a percentage of physical defense and magic defense if a spear is equipped. 
At skill level 10, they ignore physical defense and ignore magic defense is 10%. And lastly, for the Royal Guard skills, we have Prestige. This is a passive skill in which if the Royal Guard successfully blocks an enemy's attack using Auto Guard, the enemy's movement speed will be reduced by 50% and the physical and magical attack will be reduced by 20% for 3 seconds at skill level 5. Let's try it out. Here we can see our initial Jude damage. Upon triggering the passive using Auto Guard, we can see that our damage has been reduced and the enemy's movement speed is reduced as well. This is a good passive skill for survivability as a tank. Alright, now that we've gone through all the Royal Guard skills, let's take a look at the various Royal Guard custom color options. We have the original color, red orange, light blue, green, brown, navy blue, orange, dark pink, blue green, violet, black, cream, and light pink. Alright, so far we've gone through all our newly unlocked Royal Guard skills. I hope this video was helpful in giving us an idea on how all the Royal Guard skills work. Make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the job class skill previews. Special thanks to my guildmate Bang for lending us his Royal Guard. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.